I'm just about to check into the gym and I don't understand why I always check my phone in the morning before I go to the gym because it's not even like a good thing. Um, mainly because I feel like sometimes it puts me in a weird headspace. And I say this because why do women say mean things to each other? Like I get some of the meanest comments from women. Like I, I looked at this comment this morning and I was like, really girl? Anyway, let's go to the gym. Let me not think about it. I'm gonna get into a little something something later on though, talking about this, because it's like becoming a little bit ridiculous. So good to finally have my mojo back it feels like a million dollars I'm saying this because it is it has been four four days of consistently going to the gym I've really been slacking my mojo has been off and uh, in this vlog I'm just gonna be putting you guys on to what I eat in a day also in my previous vlog I mentioned that I got a bunch of stuff from Jumia quick one I got a bunch of stuff from Jumia. I want to do like a really quick haul. Now, as I get into this, I want to mention that Jumia got in touch, mentioned that they would like to collab with me on this video, and I said, why not? Especially knowing what they've decided to go ahead and launch. Jumia Mall is where you will find all the distributors to the products that you buy there, like genuine distributors, of course. Um, more or less, like if you were looking for a product like because one of the boxes already opened. Uh, a product like this. The sole distributors for USN would be the one to sell it. Not to oppose that what happens in, in the Jumia marketplace. However, if you are looking for guaranteed distributors who are supposed to be supplying within the country, you can go ahead and check on Jumia Mall. And the best part is, I love that they've kicked off with my favorite thing, sales. This is my chocolate whey protein. I use whey protein on and off, especially when I'm really getting serious about my goals. This is chocolate. I love the vanilla option as well, and it was going for 2,500, 2,300 when I last checked. The best part is if you use my code Mandy, um, you'll be able to get 300 bob off on checkout. Um, other than that, they they did ask me to curate the box. I got things that I really, really needed and from brands that I buy from already. It's interesting that um, my Garnier Micellar wa water has been making me feel slightly tingly. So I'm really looking forward to the Nivea Micellar water. Also, uh, it came with like a, a little travel bag, which is cute. Also, there is some Nor. They also sent me some soap. Who never needs dishwashing soap everybody does um i had actually asked them to give me some aluminum foil because um i always need more of this so that's box number one now the other thing that i ended up getting was a non stick coating plate waffle maker pancake maker can i just say that I'm looking forward to trying out this brand. I've I read reviews about it. It's pretty good. However, I I'm getting ready to throw off my last waffle maker because it's absolutely trash. Like it was going for like 1000 and some change, but it is just giving me the worst results and I hate when I invest but I hate when I buy appliances and they go ahead to fail me. It is my biggest pet peeve. So I'm really looking forward to this Brum waffle maker coming through for me. It was going for roughly what three thousand and some change I'm gonna link it below as well. So you guys can check it out. The thing that I loved though the most is It has different trays. So this is for the waffles, of course then um, It also has one for grill marks and I'm guessing the other one has to be in there, but it also has a basic plate which we can use for just like pancakes or if you were doing like a toast and you just, you know, wanted some butter to glide on it. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this works um, as opposed to seeing 
how it works, especially seeing that the last one that I had was absolute trash. Like, I'm really looking forward. In a nutshell, I'm looking forward to be purchasing more items off uh, Jumia Mall now that the sole distributors are there. Not to say that I don't buy them from Jumia Marketplace. By the way, as much as this video is sponsored, I'm actually a, a Jumia junkie. If you've watched my kitchen tour, by then you automatically know that um, I bought a lot of items that I featured, of course, in this in, in my kitchen tour uh, of Jumia. So I'm really looking forward to this because the first waffle maker that I got, it really disappointed me. It didn't live up to the hype that I thought it was going to live up to. So I'm looking forward to what this is gonna do. I was thinking of actually making some bomb chicken and waffles pretty soon. Of course, I'm gonna put it on my stories, on my vlog, whatever. I'm gonna decide. The goal was to show you guys what I eat in a day, but the power has been going on and off. That's why I didn't even show you what I made for breakfast. And uh, then the power came back and I made lunch and then now the power went out again. Now let me address the elephant in the room, which happens to be what I had mentioned to you guys earlier before I went to the gym. Let me just say there's been more and more women leaving, or rather, over time, there's been women who leave very mean comments under my posts. I even noticed other women leaving those kind of mean comments onto other women's posts, talking about their bodies. And I feel like, first, let me say this, every woman that's out there does not owe another person a perfect body. We are not perfect beings, so as a result, we do not have perfect bodies. We're constantly trying to work on ourselves and get better. So whenever I see a woman leave a comment under my post telling me they expect XYZ. I usually get so thrown off because I'm like, girl, really? What, what, what you doing? Back in the day, I used to just catch all the feelings. Like I used to go off. And these days I just chuckle. I look at the girl like, really? So I, I check them and I tell them, nobody owes you a perfect body. And I get that I've been doing this fitness thing for three years. However, I didn't think it would come with this much pressure. I did a QA and a on my channel the other day, on my Insta stories the other day, and a girl left this comment. Why is my belly big? I didn't know I, I owed her a flat stomach. Second comment that I got was, you've been working out for three years why hasn't your body changed i mean this person doesn't even follow me but they expect for me to do that i know i i approached that person in the comment section and we talked in the dm they apologized and i really liked that they were okay they you know acknowledged that they made a mistake by their comment but to be honest with you before she even says sorry i was really like thrown off by that because I just really imagine these women in their circle of friends and I'm pretty sure um, they wouldn't say this kind of stuff to their friends and I guess that's why they say it to public personas but I, I wish more people would remember that um, influencers, content creators, public figures are human beings, they have feelings, they do not owe you a perfect body and as a result you don't need to be leaving those kind of comments. I feel like you get to a stage in your life as a woman where you kind of let go of like some really petty stuff that you shouldn't be doing or listen you still do but you do it with your girls and you don't leave comments like that we all think of stuff that we want to say to people but i don't i personally don't go out of my way to leave it in the comment section and i'd love for more women to not do that to other women um it's all about unlearning and learning better habits i just personally feel like more women should be putting up more uplifting messages to other women but maybe i'm also projecting but 
I don't know, how do you guys feel about that? Do you guys look at people, other women differently when you find them leaving nasty comments on other women's posts? Especially around surrounding their body. I mean, Rihanna the other day was um, trending because people thought she was pregnant, but she just has, was having a food baby. Um, and I think it's important to note that women's bodies go through a lot, you know? We go through ovulation, menstruation, we go, to, go through post-menstruation, go through period fatigue, and as a result, our body will take a toll. We, we kind of go through the motions. We don't look perfect all the time. So stop expecting people to give you a perfect body because it doesn't exist, because we're not even perfect beings. Um, if you have something mean to say, don't type it out. Just keep it to yourself. Say it out loud. Keep it to yourself. I don't know. I just don't feel like people should be going into 2020 with like whack energy. But that's just me. Hey, I want to take my talents to work. My battery keeps flashing. So that means the vlog is about to end here. I want to say thank you so much for checking checking out this vlog. I'm going to make sure to link all the products that I had mentioned or rather I unboxed from the Jumia Mall haul in the description box below. Make sure you take advantage of my Jumia code, a voucher code, in order to get 300 bob uh, off at a checkout, uh, to get 300 bob off at checkoff points. And until the next vlog, thank you so much for your love. Make sure you turn on the notification bell because next week, baby, <laughs> you ain't even ready because... <laughs> The first, the first recipe is about to pop. Mm. You, 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 you might want to turn on the notification, baby. Trust me. Mm.